coplanar forces act on a rigid rod. A rigid rod means this rod here is not going to bend and do some deformation thing. No, no, no. It's just straight. The rod is hinged at P. Which force produced the greatest moment about point P? So you see all these forces are. They are all trying to make this rod turn about point P. So our pivot is going to be right here on the left. So it's kind of like saying, ah, pivot, pivot, like our elbow. I fix the pivot, I rotate. But how do you calculate the torque? You need to check one by one which one is the biggest torque or moment. Let's start with the 10 Newton first. This 10 Newton, wow, we need to do how? Uh, okay, how to find torque is force times perpendicular distance or perpendicular force times distance to the pivot. This 10 Newton is going to try to cause this object to rotate clockwise. But what's the force times distance? You take 10 times 1 meter, that's 10 Newton meter. Mm, okay, next. Let's go to the 6 Newton. Okay, this one is going to cause the force to rotate anti-clockwise. You say, hey Rod, can you please turn that way? So, oh, but then it's not, it's at the angle though. Okay, we can try to resolve the force. Okay, let's resolve the force. So I want to say, what's the perpendicular force? Let's change the angle here, 30 degrees, 6 Newton here. So our force here will be 6, um, opposite hypotenuse, 6 sine 30. Mm, okay. Hence, your moment will be anti-clockwise. What's the distance? 2 meters times 6 sine 30. You press calculator for that, you should get 6, right? I think 2 times 6. Let me check. 2 times 6 sine 30. Oh, yeah, oh, 6. Okay, okay, okay. We write 6. 6 newton meter. C. Oh, C is very good. It's just... Perpendicular already. Beautiful. Anti-clockwise. 2 times 3. That will be 6 Newton meter. Eh, same ah. So I can cancel out already. Ah, yeah, not B, not C. La. They are the same. D, last one. D will also try to rotate the rod anti-clockwise. But we need to resolve the force again. <laughs> Let's resolve the force here. This is going to be 30 degrees. What's the perpendicular force? We can take the distance, which is 4 meters, from the pivot, now very far already, all the way out here, times the component that is vertical. So 4 times, maybe I don't write 4.0, no space already. 4 times, this will be 4 sine 30. This will give me 4 times 4 sine 30. 8. Right, 8 Newton meter. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, we can compare the torque and see which one is the biggest. So who wins? A wins. A will give you the biggest torque. But it may not cause the whole rod to rotate because you see, this torque want to rotate clockwise. The rest all want to rotate anti-clockwise. So at the end of the day, if you add up all the green color one, uh, the, the rod will probably rotate anti-clockwise. Because uh, more force, more moment anti-clockwise. Okay, so this is how you can find the moments.